It is Saturday, December the 30th, Pegasus Preview Day out here at Gulfstream with multiple states. Here we are for the big day. Let's see how today turns out on this chilly and overcast Saturday. Racing in the St. Augustine. In the Gulfstream opener, Todd Fletcher had two first time starters. I like Ford Noble on the outside under Irad Ortiz, the $725,000 sales grad. Press the pace to the top of the stretch. These two quicken up at the 5 16ths, three better than Mogo, then Starship Mocha and Princetown as they run to the top of the stretch. Bonus move under pressure to hold the lead. Born Noble looms a major threat on the outside through a 45 and 4 half mile. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Born Noble, Irad Ortiz Jr. tells the son of Constitution to put him away. Fletcher's Born Noble wins his debut in the Gulfstream opener. Anyway, it's the first bet of the day. He reached the top of the stretch and regulatory risk has got plenty so far. It's regulatory risk. Maybe a little green there for just a moment, but Manny Franco straightens regulatory risk, but did that open the door for value area who's trying to come up alongside? Regulatory risk is trying to gut it out. Value area just can't close into that margin. Regulatory risk is almost there. Value area clear second. Regulatory risk wins the opener. Regulatory risk over value area. The fourth at Gulfstream was moved to the Tapita due to the rains earlier in the week, but the rest of the races Whoa. are on the grass. I still like first time North American starter for Grand Motion number five, Marksman Queen. That down from eight to one in the morning line to five to two favoritism. John Velasquez took a right to the front, collared at the top of the stretch, stretch duel. Still the target, Marksman Queen. She's there by a neck. Swoop to finish on the outside. Ola Gata, blue colors, needs a way out. Starship Aurora is next. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Beautiful slingshot off the corner from Gaff Leon. And Ola Gata challenging Marksman Queen an eighth of a mile out. They're two and a half better than Starship Aurora. They come past the 16th pole. Inside, inside, Marksman Queen game. Ola Gata not by yet. Here's the Prevail for the second win at Gulf Chain. The Gulfstream was the first of the stakes races. The Rampart for Phillies and Bears going a one turn mile. Mary, quite contrary, was going to be the favorite. She had a remarkable eight starts and six wins with two seconds over the track and had won this race last year. The only concern was coming off the layoff and her come from behind style. She stalked in mid pack, split horses at the top of the stretch. A quarter of a mile left to go. Dreaming of Snow is still the target through three quarters and 113 flat. Amonra is second. These two kick off the corner. Loose for the drive is Mary. Quite contrary, there's an eighth of a mile to go. Dreaming of Snow digs in. Amonra next and down the center. Mary, quite contrary, tries to pick him up. Mary, quite contrary. Up in time for the ring. Prime time, the bet of the day. They race to the top of the stretch and past the quarter pole. Super Bourbon turns for home. Super Bourbon kicks away by two. Guapinus game and trying to come back over the inside. And Motivo right there alongside of that one. If I by brush back and infinite series way out in the middle of the track. Furlong left to go. Super Bourbon holding by two. On the outside, infinite series is coming. Here comes brush back, very game. Brush back charging hard. It's Super Bourbon. Super Bourbon holding on. Super Bourbon wins at a half left. The seventh at Gulfstream was an entry level allowance race going five furlongs on the turf. Irad Ortiz, who looked to be having a good day, 
was on the prohibitive favorite cruising man who looked to be the fastest of the fast. But I thought that there was a lot of speed and it would set it up for a price play number three when I get to heaven. I just was hoping that cruising man would be pressured throughout. The gates open, cruising man easily to the front. You gotta be kidding me. The Paco had when I get to heaven up close, came to him at the top of the stretch. Stretch duel! Cruising man better go to work as when I get to heaven is right alongside. There's an eighth of a mile to go. When I get to heaven, strutting forward to take the lead. Cruising man emboldened by the challenge. <laughs> So close! The wait, the inquiry, objection! Oh yeah, four shot the length of the stretch. He wins. I cash the ticket at $13.80. I get back over $30. The eighth at Gulfstream was the first of the graded stakes. It was the 74th running of the Suwannee River. I like number four, full count Felicia with Irad, who got DQ'd last time and allowed me to win. Sat on the rail behind horses into the stretch, shot through a narrow opening. She has the lead from the outside, fastest flight from the inside, accomplished girl. Walkathon, Tecalero, full count Felicia, and Mesador are next. They're at the top of the stretch with the advantage. It's Sister Luann, full count Felicia, looks for room toward the rail. Down the center, it's accomplished girl. Here comes full count Felicia. She got through at the rail. Down the center, accomplished girl. And the lead innings here. <laughs> Double Quebec, oh yeah, first graded stakes win of the Gulfstream meet. Ninth at Gulfstream was the $100,000 St. Augustine Overland Handicap going a mile 70 on the Tapita track. I looked at the field and I'm like, go big. I couldn't find anybody that was a standout. Number one, however, fly the W. He always races in starter allowance, optional claimers, but he loves the synthetic. 11 for 22, and I'm like, hey, why not? Mid-pack, split horses in the stretch. Tries to go the distance here. They went three quarters in 109 and one. Saratoga Flash has the lead. His strides are shortening. On the far outside, me and Mr. C rolling home for Irad. Here's fly the W in County Fly the W. Fourteen to one. Can you believe that? I left the races early on Saturday in order to get to the Panthers game against Montreal tonight, but there was some late stakes action. Seventh at the fairgrounds was Woodchopper. Going a mile on the turf for three-year-olds. I like number four, Gigante. And I tripled the As these three-year-olds turn for home, Velocitor's handy and Gigante now tips to the outside to a clear path and Gigante is circling. Three quarters in one minute, 13 seconds flat. They're in the final quarter of a mile. It is Deck and Prince. Northern Invader has that big white blaze and Gigante charging on the outside now to confront to the inside, Northern Invader, as they come past the 16th, who wants the wood chopper? Gigante, Northern Invader, it's Gigante, it's another stakes for Gigante! in chase mode second sir wellington under a drive now third the necker island ultimate the other three well behind skelly who comes off the turn still in front edge to edge trying to put up a fight today and second on the outside switches lead skelly asks to quick and he does so edge to edge fighting to get by him he's still second as skelly hits the 16th pole too clear edge to edge has run a very brave race today but it's skelly and skelly is back in business skelly wins it The ninth at the fairgrounds was the Pigo Hop. 
and it was the companion to the wood chopper. This one was for three-year-old fillies going a mile on the turf and I like number three. Too funny. Doubled the back. Across the course, storming condensation. Musical score as they turn for home and uh, Annalise dropped all the way back to last. Three quarters and 113.56 seconds. It is toward the inside. Callie's grit. Condensation looks to gain with the rail and is coming through. Free look under pressure. Go musical score. Watch this. Birdie is mounting a late charge as is Tufani near the stand side rail. Here comes Tufani for Ben Curtis right over the top. Tufani takes the Pagel hop by two from condensation. Saturday, it was a good day out here. Overcast, a little chilly, not too bad. Multiple states wins. I didn't win quite as big a percentage as usual, but got a lot of nice prices. Be back out here next week for sure.